Hey, what's up YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And for all you kids out there in the U.S. of A., we have a real treat. Some of my videos I'll do for kids because it's fun. And a lot of these figures are either old school or new school. It all depends on what I get. And today we will be reviewing Cyberverse Scout Class Megatron. Before we look at the figure itself, we'll look at the packaging. Nice picture of Megatron with his Fusion Mace. Which is a nice gimmick. Not bad. It's an okay scout class that I got for $5 Amazon. And some more product shots of Megatron. And the other scout classes we don't have. I don't have Bumblebee. I don't have Screamer or Grimlock. And now we're going to show off the Energon Mace gimmick, which, as you see, it just comes out of his arm. It's weird, but kind of fun same time so you can be like tread in and be like smash with that mace energy mace <laughs> but now we're gonna get down to comparisons here he is next to scout class ratchet deluxe class shockwave deluxe class Megatron. I like this Megatron better. It's just my opinion. Deluxe class Atis, Acid Storm. Sorry, correction moment. Acid Storm. And finally, Deluxe class Starscream. And of course, a one step. One step. Bludgeon. And finally, for comparisons, here he is with some Authentics Bravo. Megatron, Authentics Bravo. Because Cyberverse and Authentics Bravo are so similar, in my opinion. 12 inch Authentics Bravo Megatron compared to this new Megatron. To me, it's new because I haven't picked it up. And of course, Legends. Authentics Bravo Megatron. And now we're going to get down to transformation, which is very simple. Fold in the legs, fold them down, fold down his one arm, and there you got Megatron. Look at that paint on this figure. I'm starting to like Scout Class a lot. Really well painted, really well sculpted Decepticon symbol. It's not bad, even though it doesn't have the fusion cannon I'm used to. And you can totally put out the Ener Energon Mace. Sorry, second correction moment. And you can totally be like Mason some Autobots to pieces with that. But now we're going to get down to comparison in robot mode. Ratchet, Scout Class. Going to transform my Cyberverse Megatron Deluxe class. Sorry, my mom's boyfriend is uh, working on something upstairs. So you may hear him in the background. Of course. So sorry about that ahead of time. Megatron. Deluxe class Megatron. And of course, we're going to compare him next to Cyberverse Deluxe Class Shockwave. And there's what he looks like next to Shockwave. And of course, Bludgeon, which is just simple to transform him on camera. And of course, Acid Storm, because he's one of the green Decepticons. 
because he's green. Yeah. You could say he's all green green with envy. A little joke. A little joke here. Next to Megatron himself, if I can get him to work properly, but there he is next to Acid Storm. And of course, what comparison would be complete without a comparison next to none other than Starscream, his most treacherous follower? Because he's treacherous. He's Starscream. He's treacherous. He's evil. He wants to take over leadership of the Decepticons. Yeah, that's what Starscream does on a daily basis. He betrays. But here he is next to Scout Class Megatron. And of course, compare him next to some other figures like the Authentic Bravo Megatrons. Which I've memorized their transformation pretty good. Rotate. Rotate. And my memory of transformations is pretty good for a guy who's been collecting for two years now. And he's bigger. He's a little bit smaller than the big scale Authentics Bravo Megatron. Of course, I'm going to compare him with the 12 inch Authentics Bravo Megatron. Because they all share the tank gimmick. That's why I'm comparing them, because they all share tank gimmicks. Gonna plug his fusion cannon in. Then he'll be ready to, for comparison. If you can kind of see, they do share a head sculpt that's similar. That's why I'm doing this comparison, pretty much. And finally, with the little legend. Authentics Bravo, Megatron, because it's Megatron, leader of Decepticons, and I just love collecting Megatron figures as much as I do Optimus Primes here. And I have fun on this channel. So here is Authentics Bravo, Megatron, next to Cyberverse Scout Class. And they look good together. This one's probably better than this one. You're probably wondering, where did I get this figure? Well, I got this from Amazon, like I said, for five bucks on sale. Is he worth it to add to your collection of Decepticons? Yes, pick him up. He is a fun gimmick to mess around with. And that's all there is to say for this review. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out.